Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So in my series of worst rackets, could there be a Yonix in there? Stay tuned. Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go. We got the Axiom line here, the nine pack duffel, my favorite bag, the nine pack Axiom 2.0. They even make a 12 pack if you're going on tour and my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. All right, coffee sponsor of this morning is, oh, it's my buddy John from Florida. Um, John writes, thanks for the great conversation. Since we went over, I'm going to take care of you for a week's worth of coffee. Oh, thank you, John. John and I spoke about a couple things, and uh, yeah, I guess uh, we went a little overboard but it was fun it was fun thank you john for uh, hooking me up with uh, with the brew um, i wish you well and i wish you luck um, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin if you want to just hook up the channel super thanks is the way link is below all right thank you guys so much thank you john uh, okay. Now, could there be a bad, bad Yonex racket? Well, I really have never liked this one. Um, it's the E zone that came after the DR. So it's the, if you remember that font, it came in this green first. It came in this green first, and then it came in the blue towards the end of its run. Now, we all know DR, right, 310 grams. As you can see, it's a thinner, thinner throat, right? I think it's a thinner everything, but it had like perfect flex, uh, really good feel, good control. Um, decent amount of power, easily customizable. A lot of great players used it. I mean, Andy Gerst, um, my buddy Jared, uh, and then they came out with this racket. And I remember that I was so excited to try it. And then I hit it and I'm like, whoa, was that me? was that the racket it kind of flexed in the wrong spot it felt a little weird in that it the top was kind of giving in the wrong place um i i chalked it up to having a bad day and then i tried it again and again and i'm like that's eh, not me <laughs> so uh, my buddy actually michael lynn um turned these two in for donation because his kids are of age and they've moved on to the new e-zones like the current model and i he left them on the table uh and i was like what are you doing he's like uh donation and i'm like oh i was actually looking for those <laughs> so he's like all yours can't wait for the video and i'm like okay michael thank you so much um and then I, I kind of had this old one in my, my own collection. So, um, yeah, I, I just wasn't a fan of these back in the day. But again, we have to compare it. I mean, they have to compare it to the DR. So 310 on this one, 305 on this one. Let's take a quick look at the, the racket here. I'm going to turn it over so that it's... 
this feels thicker right here and look how it comes up and it looks just a little little thicker all over and the other thing that kind of changed was the shape as you can see this became a little more square this kind of you know it's a little rounder so i didn't really understand why the the change in uh, shapes uh, possibly extending out the sweet spot towards the ends here but it, it altered the flex which uh wasn't good for the racket but let's uh i mean coach jared was the one that used this and then i don't remember if he even got into these but let's go see coach jared All right, so my man coach Jared Ma here used to play with the DR98 from back in the day that he credits me for getting him into and introducing him to Yonex. Correct. <laughs> and, and then they came out with this. <laughs> Do you remember these? I don't. So I remember having... Like you said, the DR98 in college. Um, I don't think I paid attention to the DRs that were upgraded after that. So I'm surprised they went with the green paint job. So I was not familiar with these frames. This is actually my first time hitting with these. Really? I think so. So, yeah. so they eliminated D and R off of these frames and just changed the name to just E-Zone. So I guess the doctor left. Okay. <laughs> and the patient got screwed up is what i'm trying to say i guess um so from the dr to these or to this one i mean we had three of them here well two of them here the other one's over there uh what were your first feelings of these yeah so i don't know if it's because i haven't played with the onyx frames in a while or um, it could just be me in general, but I think the isometric head shape was a lot more profound on these newer ones. Um, so that definitely caught me off guard. Uh, the first couple of hits too, I think they made this racket a lot more mushy, if that makes sense. Um, so I was having a hard time grooving kind of all my ground strokes in the beginning. Um, that could also potentially be the strings. This is not really the same string that I use as well. Um, but yeah, they kind of just took out the feel of this racket. So with the DR98, I think they had everything right with the right amount of flex in the frame right when you hit the shot. So the ball actually kind of jumped off the racket. And I think with this one, they kind of dampened that a little bit. So I do know that Sionics frames were getting a lot softer as they kind of progressed throughout the years. And maybe that's why they started with this one first as a trial run. Um, but unfortunately, I just was not a big fan of the newest update right after the DR. So this one was kind of tough for me to dial in. I think that's kind of my opinion on it. So I handed you the other one mm -hmm. and then that wasn't any better. No, I don't think so either. So I don't know what the difference was between both of the green nothing, ones. Nothing, nothing. Got it, got yeah, it. Nothing. So I think it was just the same mushy feeling and me kind of having a hard time dialing in the strokes. So um, again, I think that's also why a lot of people just go back to the DR98 because it just had the best feel and the best kind of performance overall out of all the DR frames in general. And um, it's kind of, you know, exemplified in this racket so yep. and then the e zone this is the blue one yep. for some reason the blue one felt better i think a you and i were bit. both hitting a little bit better a with this for some bit. reason so yeah. i think you were telling me this is the same exact racket same exact racket which is weird but it just felt more stable for some reason so i don't know if that's because there might be weight in it or if that's just a quality control thing but this one definitely felt like it was more solid um at the same time it looks like this one's strung up with maybe Poly. torbite or no, some sort of some gamma some sort of gray string yeah. but i think also the string might have also had a um kind of an effect as well because i think this one was biting a little bit more and had more spin and more control so actually this one felt better for some reason and again it could be the colorway i don't know but uh it was just very weird that both the bus were definitely hitting better with this blue one than the green one totally so, totally yeah and then we went back to the dr and yeah that felt way better 100 percent. that's just the the gold standard right there for dr rackets and the onyx in general so gold stone gold standard and e-zone rackets um so back in the day when they switched out this 
these DRs to this one, I felt like, what happened to the uh, the flex? That's it what was I was wondering. Flexing in a odd weird spot. way, <laughs> um, and and it, it kind of flopped a bit, which which was a little interesting to me. It felt like two pieces versus one. Yeah, and and it felt really. I'm not sure if it's unstable or what, but. I Awkward. felt it. I felt it twisting in my hand a little bit, especially yeah. when you have hard shots coming at you. That thing was not staying staying on the ball, so yeah. it was a little bit tough. A little bit tough. But I, agree. I mean, the blue one is better. They came out with these first, I believe, for about a year, and then they introduced the blue one towards the end of the run. So you got to choose between green or blue in these e-zones did they make any changes at all or is that just for a cosmetic purpose no. they, they did the same thing with those ones too right they had so, the green ones first supposedly the... it's just cosmetic supposedly oh. Oh. yeah so i i don't uh yeah i don't like them <laughs> <laughs> i agree with you i agree with you blue one though is not bad blue one is not bad but the yeah. green ones are not not so great not yeah. so great all right interesting well do you agree with me these are Probably the worst rackets or possible rackets Yonic's ever made. Could be up there. I haven't <laughs> I haven't demoed too many, but it could be uh, in the running for some of the worst ones. So unfortunately, I will have to say that. <laughs> All right. We hate to hate on Yonix, but unfortunately, these didn't really work. So sorry, guys. But uh, Coach Jared, thank you for uh, testing these with me and bringing back. Uh, you know, the ones after the DR. Yeah, thanks Which for the history. I know. <laughs> Sorry. I know. All good. All good. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, oh, <laughs> Coach Jerry, where can we find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.